So guys, we are down in what my wife loves to call the dungeon. I guess if you wanted to, you could refer to it as the man cave. Uh, anyway, it's my den downstairs. And last year, um, on everything in my basement, I had it was all, uh, used to, everything used to be white walls, white ceiling tile, uh, fluorescent tubes. And so we, uh, this la last winter, I did half of it and I changed and took all of this out. Uh, we painted the walls a much more warmer tone and I went to the black tile. And uh, the way the ceilings came in to join here, it wasn't, it didn't work right. So I wanted to do a nice big divider. So I used all this rough cut. Um, I did. This is just regular floor tile, uh, or uh, the floor um, uh, laminate and uh, the interlock pieces. And you can do these on the walls, which makes a really cool effect. Uh, I did rough cut lumber to do the frame out of it. And then I started coming up through here with shiplap. And uh, this is a rough cut finish as well and uh, started working here. So one of the projects I want to get finished up is I want to finish uh, getting all of this over to here and work around this vent and then I'm going to do a one by four trip around it and let this drop down. So the gear game, game plan for today is finish getting these pieces cut, get them stained and uh, get all this uh, part of this right this project closed in. Well guys, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I was kind of concerned about how I was going to trim around these pieces here. But I've got all the short ones done and remember I'm going to come back with a 1x4 and I'm going to let it overlap probably, well the width of this, um, that's probably 3 quarters of an inch to an inch. And then uh, once I get all this installed and stained, then I will remove these screws. This is just sitting here and then it'll drop down right on the... Um, the face board that I'm going to put as a trim piece. So anyway, I've got all these done. So now I just need to go cut these last few. These are right 46 and a quarter inches. So we'll go get a couple more cuts. We'll finish this in. Then we'll take them back off and we'll get them all stained. And right now they're just tacked up temporarily. We'll, and then we'll get them up permanent. I'm going to follow that up by doing a trim piece down this side, like a little one by one. And I'm going to do the same thing going down this wall with a one by one and get that stained. And that should finish up this area, this little part of the project. So anyway, let's get back outside and do some more cuts. Okay guys, I have now finished doing my staining. I had to do, ended up doing a second coat. Um, this is a semi-transparent, uh, it's called Woodscapes. It's from Sherwin-Williams. Uh, and I ended up doing a second coat just to get the tinning level that I wanted. So as you can see, uh, all of this is dry. I'm at the, the tint level that I want to match up with what I've got. So now we are ready to uh, get all of this installed.
Well guys, I'm so excited to show you the reveal of this part of the project. I've got a lot of other pieces that are coming together and I'll show you that in a sec. But this part now is done and I just wanted to show you how it all finished out. I'll throw a little B-roll in right here to remind you what this looked like when I started. But now all of the wood is stained, it's all cut, it's all installed. And I really like the way this turned out. What I did is use rough cut one by four and I overlapped it an inch. And so this is not locked in and it just sets down on the ledge. And this is, you know, my heat and air conditioner vent uh, for getting uh, the climate control here in the basement. But I'm really tickled away how rustic that looks uh, and how that just that just turned out great. Anyway, I got all the trim strips up and so this part is completed. And so guys, as you know, I will come over here. Uh, you'll be seeing lots of video with the renovation that's on prog it's in progress on this side. Um, this is obviously still going and uh, I'll be bringing you the videos of all of this step by step up to this point and all the way through. And for now guys, I just recently finished a project installing a new patio door. I'll include that up here in the end screens. Remember guys here at Project Next One, there's always another one. Uh, projects don't never end seems like. <laughs> So anyway, be another one coming soon. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll catch you again real soon. Take care, guys.